Hi, I'm Dan Haas, and I'm here to present comparing student-based context priming in immersive and desktop virtual reality environments to increase academic performance. From Carleton University, Faculty of Engineering and Design School of Information Technology. Let's get started. So the problem uh, was to compare the effectiveness of student-based context priming within varying levels of immersion. In previous studies, we'd looked at fully immersive environments and proved in that there was effectiveness and we wanted to see if that translated to DVR. So the literature review for this paper, we looked at cognitive and effective priming. We looked at learning theories, uh, experiential learning theory and situated learning theory and immersive and non-immersive VR. We learned that priming interventions can be very powerful tools to induce positive psychological learning effects in real time. Uh, quickly, what is priming? In our context, priming is any intentional action or stimulus, either cognitive relating to cognition or effective relating to emotion, that strives to improve the student learning mindset. So our research also showed that there were many different ways of improving cognition, increasing positive affect through things like video games, inducing calm through meditation, uh, controlling attention, increasing motivation, simply repeating exposures or improving the situational context, which is what we tested in this particular study. So as a result of the research, we came up with four different priming methods, preparatory primes, which preceded the educational event, context-oriented primes, which were antecedent or created the environment around the event, creative spaces, situated learning environments, motivation-oriented priming or MOPs, which were motivational messages or images, and reflective priming, which followed the learning event and were reflective questions, things to consider, survey data, data visualization, and similar related activities that would spawn contemplative thought. There are four studies that we did, and uh, I'll share what we concluded in the first three studies. This is the fourth study, uh, comparing priming effects of immersive versus desktop VR. So what did we learn in previous studies? Well, we learned that VR gaming and VR meditation both reduced anxiety. We learned that VR video game games improved cognitive performance. Uh, we learned that VR meditation did not improve cognitive performance. Uh, we learned that both primes in our uh, context-based priming uh, study, both our animation studio and our artifacts, did improve test performance over the no prime conditions. And we also learned that uh, there was no improvement in affect or subjective UX uh, in our previous context-oriented priming study. So this study uh, focused on situated, situated learning scenarios, IVR versus DVR. The VR classroom was the no prime scenario and the VR classroom with artifacts was the prime scenario. And we had a similar uh, data from the previous study that uh, represented the IVR environment. In this second study, we studied primarily the DVR environment. So H1, the prime conditions will improve academic performance compared with the no prime condition uh, for IVR and DVR. Uh, H2, there will be no improvement in academic performance observed due to immersion in both prime conditions. And H3, the key effective filters uh, will be reduced because ELT and SLT learning process so we propose that there'll be a reduction in anxiety, uh, motivation will be increased, and self-confidence will be increased in the prime condition compared to the no prime condition. Let's see how we did. So first of all, these were the environments. This was the first environment, the standard classroom theater. We have a teacher in front at the podium and PowerPoint charts being presented and students sitting in chairs in a slightly elevated theater style. And this was the same classroom, but augmented with subject matter artifacts. We have posters on the side and on both sides. And just above the uh, screen, you have characters and images that are going to iterate every 60 to 90 seconds. And those are iconic animation images. So the results, while well, we see that the average score, IVR and DVR, um, we see that IVR and DVR both uh, worked to improve over the no prime condition. So the prime condition exceeded the no prime condition in both 
scenarios. Uh, on the other hand, when we compare the prime conditions to the prime conditions in IVR and the no prime to the no prime uh, between the IVR and DVR, we see that there was little difference, suggesting that the priming effect was present and uh, there was no advantage to the levels of immersion. And in summary, the prime conditions were more effective in generating positive motivational and self-confidence feelings. Um, so what else did we learn? We learned that both prime and no prime conditions were significant in both IVR and DVR environments. Neither prime or no prime conditions observed improvements in affect or subjective UX. Neither prime DVR or IVR observed improved affect or improved subjective UX relative to each other. Uh, but the prime conditions appeared to increase self-confidence and motivation. Thank you.